Hi, this is Dennis Nessler, editor of Large Hotel Business. I'm here with J.P. Ford, Senior Vice President of Lodging Econometrics. J.P., I'm curious from you, uh, there's been a lot of talk at the conference about supply, um, new construction starting to tick up a little bit. Uh, from your perspective, uh, is supply still uh, at pretty, you know, relatively benign levels, and you know, do you see it being an issue uh, for the industry going forward? Well, the, the answer to that question is really on a couple of different le levels, uh, Dennis. At a macro level, we seem to be growing at a very disciplined pace. Supply seems to be increasing on a quarter over quarter basis, but uh, nothing, nobody's really going crazy. Um, so at a macro level, we're in pretty good shape. We're gonna, uh, well, new supply is gonna increase about 1.6% at the end of 2015 and 1.9% uh, in 2016. So at a macro level, we're in a good spot at the moment. Um, I do caution people, however, that uh, wherever you own hotels um, or wherever you're looking to buy or to build, make sure you have a clear understanding of the market because there are certain markets in the country right now with enormous amounts of new supply in the pipeline. What are some so of the markets that are starting to uh, see some, some uh, supply creep up? Well, we're seeing uh, a lot. Uh, we're seeing a very strong pipeline in New York. A uh, very strong pipeline in Washington, D.C., uh, in Houston as well, uh, oil and gas related, obviously, but um, Boston is a pretty big pipeline, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. Chicago, um, and a couple of surprises, um, Austin, Texas, it's a very strong pipeline, and uh, probably even more surprises, uh, City of Pittsburgh, okay. lots of new development going on there as well. What are some, in terms of development, what are some of the, uh, what segments are you seeing a lot of the development uh, occur in? Well, the majority of the pipeline, Dennis, is concentrated in the upscale and upper mid-scale chain scales. Has been that way for a while. Uh, is likely to continue that way. Uh, properties generally under 200 rooms in those chain scales uh, are favored by developers. Uh, a lot of the brands that we're all familiar with in those chain scales um, are really, easier to build, mm -hmm. uh, easy to run, uh, have strong 800 reservation systems, have wide consumer acceptance, and um, are generally pretty easy to finance as well. Mm -hmm. We heard a little bit this morning about construction costs, whether it's labor or materials um, starting to creep up a little bit. Is that something that you've, you've seen at all? Hasn't been a lot of talk about that. Um, haven't seen a lot of that talking with developers. Uh, but as you get into uh, a big growth period in this country uh, where resources are stretched thin, uh, you'll begin to hear about uh, uh, not enough builders to do these projects. And as a result, costs will jump considerably during that time. But haven't heard a lot about that at the moment. Okay. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show, JP. You bet. Thank you.